Hello, how are you? My name is Alejandro Sandoval, June 7th, 2000, on 2018. This is the Solo Negocios video blog with the summary of the Solo Negocios Bulletin. And we're going to talk about the foreign exchange and metal markets, and specifically the peso, the Mexican peso got depreciated a great deal. And basically today was uh, one of the most recurrent elements of the volatility, volatility set that has been included in, in, in this uh, negative trend of the Mexican peso since 2014 it's a normalization of the Federal Reserve rate and the reason is the following the follow the, the next Wednesday uh, June the 13th we will have this uh, meeting of the Federal Reserve where they will decide if they increase the rate in 25 basis points at least that's what the market expects and this is what everything everyone expects that it will occur the problem is that it's not that it will be increased in that rate uh, the point is that how much uh, or how many times during the rest of the year will be increased and it all depends on the economic information of the United States. Jerome Powell will decide, uh, will give a conference, uh, a press conference this following uh, Wednesday and then he will explain different positions regarding the ideas surrounding the Federal Reserve decision, not only within the decision to increase rate this time, but also within the decision in the following meetings, maybe in the moderate position, only one more time in December 2018, or maybe one more, another one in October, or, or even more if it's necessary. Why they will do that? Well, it will all depend whether it is the, uh, a bad economic situation in the U.S. or a good economic situation. The situation is good in the U.S. Now, how good and how fast it will increase and, and then how fast it will influence the inflation to increase or also par in, in, in a parallel way how fast you will in, in the US you will import uh, inflation given the trade war be, uh, that was uh, initiated by the president of the United States with the tariffs to steel and aluminum to Mexico and Canada and the European Union and also the other tariffs settled to China that could be and discussed next week and we will ha have more information about it next week then but the deal here is how much it will be inflated the economy of the u.s and then therefore how it will react the federal reserve to this situation so this is the main reason uh nafta there are low chances to reach an agreement this year even when yesterday the minister of the economy in mexico said that he considered a 50 percent or over 50 percent probability to, to get reach the agreement now there's very few information um, supplied from the US and Canada to uh, bet in favor of uh, negotiation of this uh, NAFTA 2.0 during 2018. And then it will be more difficult given that there will be a new Congress in the US and obviously a new president and Congress in Mexico. USA request for uh, the, the request for unemployment insurance went a little bit over the expectatives, which were 220,000 uh, persons, uh, that made the Bloomberg dollar spot in, uh, index went down a little bit, but that was not enough to, to hold up the peso, the Mexican peso. Oil also went up, uh, given the Venezuelan sanctions and also their own situation uh, at Pedeza, and then also the now expectatives for the June 22. Uh, meeting of the OPEC and its allies to decide how they will react to this decrease in exports from Venezuela and Iran given the US sanctions for both of them and therefore their reaction to bring the market to a, an equilibrium if it's not yet there. Now, yet they have to take into account that the US is still increasing production and obviously that the demand globally is growing even with the fears of this global uh, trade war that is beginning right now. Therefore, the support is $20 and the resistance 20.16 pesos per dollar, excuse me, at the wholesale market. The spread went up in a banking in the banks from purchase one, uh, one peso at 14 cents, the difference with the, the sale of the dollar. And in the futures market, it went a little bit down for December 2018 to 20 pesos, 97, uh, 98 cents per dollar. And it was, it was a little bit improved. Uh, but the linear trend, the mathematical linear trend for the US dollar uh, or the Mexican peso against the US dollar is depreciation in the following days. 
and there's no way to consider an appreciation in general terms because there is normalization of the Fed and it will be decided next Wednesday. The China decision with the trade war and the U.S. probably next next Friday, uh, the following in a week, and the OPEC agreement uh, in June 22. Besides, uh, or parallel to that, NAFTA and other in individual deals with the U.S. So th all of these makes a great volatility set uh, in the markets and the negative trend for the Mexican peso as far as now. Thank you very, very much for your attention. We invite you to read the full Solo Negocios Bulletin and we'll, we'll keep in touch. Thank you.